You it is good, yo. It's your boy Time back here with another video. And in this video today, I am going to be doing my first breakdown of what I see and my thoughts of season five power within in NBA 2K22, my team. Now, there's a lot going on here, okay? Ton going on whether we look at our triple third offline all the way down to my team unlimited there's just a lot going on in general okay and as we dive into this video today if you are new to my channel and have not yet make sure to smash that subscribe button as we are on the road to 90,000 subscribers i apologize for my face cam not being on right now it does need a little bit of a break before we do start the gameplays and everything like that but here's the deal guys Level 40 for Ray Allen. Look, Ray Allen's fine. He's not necessarily the best card in the game. And so that's kind of the problem. Do I think Ray Allen's worth it? I would lean probably not, but it does look like uh, De'Aaron Fox is free. First thing I see. And it also does look like there is so much XP to be obtained. So if you're looking to get Ray Allen, just know it's going to be pretty easy to do so. Starting here with Domination. What does Domination look like? Well, it doesn't look like it's updated. That's the first thing I know. Ray for Austin is in the triple threat vault. Does look like at 1250 wins is Morris Peterson. Now, Morris Peterson is definitely the guy that I'm higher on. If you just look at him and Ray for Austin, definitely much higher on Morris Peterson. So it's kind of a shame that he's not in the vault. And or I guess for me, because uh, I don't even have a chance to get Morris Peterson. Still waiting on a domination. And here it is. Okay, here's where we see what is available within dominations. You guys can see you get Dynamics rating uh, Hall of Fame badges at 66 stars. Paul Millsap, who is a very, very solid card at 99 stars. Now, I'm not sure if this is unlocked for everybody or if you have to have a certain amount of stars in Homecoming, whatever uh, the case may be. But what I would say is I do like Paul Millsap and I, I think Domination is a decent enough thing to grind. We look at the signature challenge here. Uh, and, and you get a, it, it does look like whatever this is, a diamond shoe. Uh, let's see. Uh, KD Diamond Shoe and more available for two weeks. So I don't know exactly what's going to come out of that. Maybe a Hall of Fame badge as we've seen before, but there is a signature challenge there. So Triple Threat Offline, do I think it's worth it? Well, I do think Morris Peterson's solid. But outside of that, I'm not really super high on anything in Triple Threat Offline. Domination does look pretty fire. I'm a, I'm a big fan of, of the Domination in general. And heck, I mean, even if you do get up here, you the rewards are not super good as we go through it. So Offline Again, probably not the biggest fan of it. If you look at clutch time here, this is this is going to be intriguing here because you guys can see at 10 wins, you do get Kobe White. I'm guessing there's 100 wins. You need 100 wins for Big Z. I don't think it really says, or maybe Big C, uh, Big, uh, Big Z is, yeah, I think. I do think Sean Kemp's on the wheel. Big Z is the 100 win reward. So just something to look at there. The draft, I would never recommend playing the draft. There, there's just, I mean, look, Richard Hamilton's not bad. That is who the draft reward is, but I just don't know if it's necessarily worth it. Triple Threat Online, okay, Sharif is uh, the Triple Threat Online reward, and Sharif's pretty solid. So is it worth grinding for? That's really up to you. I will say I do like Sharif. I think he's a very, very solid card in my team. Now, the mode I'm primarily probably going to focus on is my team unlimited in Cincinnati in, in getting Cincinnati's power. It's, it's quite honestly that simple. Cincinnati's power is absolutely elite and I don't want to call him a must-have, but he's basically a must-have for the 250k tournament. He is that elite. DeMarcus Cousins and Limited. The problem that I see here is, I mean, guys, look, you're going to need six rings to get DeMarcus Cousins. That's five weeks from now. Is he going to be worth it in five weeks? I, I don't necessarily know if I can say he is. I mean, Limited is not something I'd focus on. And you guys can look at the prizes here. Maybe if you want to get the diamond contract, make some MT that way. That might be what you focus on. Maybe you want the Hall of Fame badge. It's really entirely up to you guys. In the token rewards, we do see Mark Gasol. Again, that's up to you guys, whether you guys want to lock in for Mark Gasol or not. I don't think Mark Gasol is that great in my team because of the 79 speed, but he's solid. Mark Gasol is solid enough in my team. And you might see some people running him in the 250k tournament just because he is that stretch big that, I mean, is going to really compete on the interior. You guys can see the pink diamond update. Obviously, we did get Sean Elliott, who I am a pretty big fan of. One thing I'm interested in is did they update the token market? And it looks like it's not updated at all. So, I mean, the token market did say the same. 
I don't know what you guys think about that, but it is what it is. Token market did indeed stay the same. So I have all my tokens, not gonna spend them. Gonna probably try to make some MNT off of them. Outside of that, we do got the exchange. Is there anything new in the exchange that might catch my eye? Sydney Moncrief, you guys can see you need Bucks players. Typical, I figured that would happen and you do need two Amethyst original owner Bucks cards or original owner cards, which isn't really bad. This is gonna be a cheap enough set for you guys to get done for Sydney Moncrief, who is gonna be a solid enough card. Again, the 15,000 XP, I've already got it done. So as you guys can see, I'm gonna, I don't know how to even, I, I gotta guess I gotta hold X to lock this thing in. But if you did complete showdown, you're gonna have 15,000 XP to start it off. And that's something, I mean, that is important if you do want to get rid of the first Ray Allen or be one of the first people to get Ray Allen. The 15,000 XP, I mean, look, it's definitely gonna help as you guys can see. I'm already level 23 and I haven't really done anything. So look, 25 more tokens there. You're gonna see badge packs and some other stuff. What I'm interested in is, is in the Ascension boards because Ascension, look, I know it's for Kyle Lowry who you guys might not be high on Kyle Lowry and I'd be lying to say I'm super high on Kyle Lowry. But I mean, he is a free card. I mean, he's a free point guard and if you are just starting the game, maybe Kyle Lowry might be one of those cards that I mean might low key be worth it so we're just gonna fly through the ascension pretty quick here I don't really care if I get Kyle Lowry or not maybe you get 13 picks oh I guess all of my ascensions are gonna be in one that makes sense I was gonna say 13 picks on the or 14 picks on the first ascension just doesn't really make sense but I guess it makes more sense now knowing that they're just combining all of my ascensions together which I think it's low-key scamming me because it's not saving my progress. So I guess maybe it does save your progress. Never mind. Forget what I said because I got more picks anyway. So look, got 12 picks heading into the next board. Honestly, guys, as long as I get MT some decent rewards, I care more about that than getting Kyle Lowry. Kyle Lowry is cool, but he's not necessarily a card that's like, wow, I must have Kyle Lowry. You know, he's just like, okay, it's Kyle Lowry. That's cool at all. Still got 12 picks because of the plus two, which is super nice. So 100 more MT, that's fine. You know, you're looking at just making some MT happen, which I'm a, I'm a big fan of MT, as most of you guys probably do know. Two extra picks once again. At least I'm hitting on the two extra picks. That makes a difference. But Kyle Lowry probably not going to come home, but it is what it is. Dynamic rating players is going to be interesting to see you know how expensive those are right away in this season as well because that's a new thing to think about. I mean, we're getting new Dynamics ratings players, which... First of all, it's more cards in the card collector. You guys know Kareem, or, uh, Carl Malone is 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 now available. Uh, and so there, there's just so much going on in this season, to be completely honest with you guys. And I'm honestly pretty excited for it. We got nine picks headed into the top tier. But, I mean, there's a lot going on this season. If I could start Kyle, let's start it off with Kyle Lowry, I would take that. Not that Kyle Lowry will ever play for me. But he's a guard, card I would, I would definitely take. And, and we would run with Kyle Lowry. Uh, and he just add him to my card collector level. The one thing I did, I sold my collection, so it's not like I'm going to be able to get Carl Malone, but I'm okay with it. That's the risk I took. Uh, I, I didn't figure Carl Malone or the, the 27 re win reward would be anything too crazy. It was good. I mean, Carl Malone's he's, he's a good card in my team, but it's not like I have anything to show for it. Just look at all my tokens. That's something I feel like 2K should have kind of fixed last year at this time. I mean, we got like the Gary Payton in tokens. We got Moses Malone. We got a lot of those token rewards that were pretty solid. And this year, it's just a little different, right? We're not seeing those uh, token rewards anymore. And so uh, we got we got one, we got Marcus Gasol, but that's really it. And so honestly, guys, if, if, I'm, I, if I'm being completely honest with you guys, the modes I think are most worth it is we're winding this uh, down here. The modes I think are most worth it. First of all is my team unlimited. I think that's the most worth it. That's the best free card you're getting the entire season, even better than the Ray Allen card. Then after that, guys, I think it's next best try to go into domination. So unlimited domination, probably my main two. And then I mean, I, I don't. It's up to you, man. It's really up to you. After that, I do think those are the modes that I would start off in. I want to know your thoughts on the season. Do you guys think it's a W season, an L season? Let me know that down below in the comments, guys. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you're doing as always, man. I love you guys. Have a blessed day.